Welcome to today's Escape to the Country. Now, have you any idea what these are growing in the pots behind me? Well, they're pineapples. And this is the only pinery vinery that survives in the UK, in its authentic state. But where have we come to for such an exotic start to today's show? Today I'm looking for somewhere for an ex-sea captain and his wife to drop anchor. Our properties certainly have the wow factor. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Another wow, yes. I think. Yeah. But the mystery house turns out to be the most intriguing of the lot. I think this has captured your imagination. Right. Sounds like <laughs> it. Well, it's certainly different. It's certainly different. Well, today we're in Cheshire, and I'm on the glorious Tatton Park Estate, right in the heart of the county. Now, the pineapple house here was built back in 1750, and in those days, the fruits were so prized and revered, they could change hands for anything, up to £5,000 in today's money. Think about that next time you pop into your local supermarket. Now, a little later on, we'll be coming back here to check out the house and gardens in a lot more detail. But first, let's take a closer look at what the rest of this glorious county has to offer. With the Dee estuary to the east and the windswept moors of the Peak District to the west, the county of Cheshire covers over 900 square miles and has a population of just over a million. The county town of Chester was first founded by the Romans in the year 79 AD and it's one of the best preserved walled cities in the British Isles. In the Cheshire countryside, agriculture is still a thriving industry. More than two thirds of the land is still farmed today mainly for dairy, producing that famous crumbly white Cheshire cheese. It's this largely rural feel that makes the county a popular choice, with commuters escaping the industrial centres of Manchester and Liverpool. And it's also home to a whole host of premiership footballers and celebrities, all living the affluent Cheshire lifestyle. Now, in East Cheshire, your average family home will set you back around about £264,000, nine grand over the national average. Not so bad, I hear you say, but take a quick look at the map and step inside the so-called golden triangle between Alderley Edge, Wilmslow and Nutsford, and your average family home can skyrocket to a whopping £520,000. That's double the national average. So if, like me, you're not a millionaire or indeed a footballer's wife, this is clearly a hot spot to avoid. Outside of which, there are some fantastic properties on offer. This Grade 2 listed barn conversion in Watcroft is on the market for £350,000. It has three good-sized bedrooms, a feature fireplace in the dual-aspect lounge and a mature garden. Or for a shade under £490,000, you could be living in this beautifully restored Grade 2 listed cottage in the village of Arley. It boasts well-proportioned reception rooms with exposed beams, two bedrooms and an attractive landscape garden. This stunning four-bedroom converted barn in the village of Appleton Thorn could be yours for a bigger budget of £650,000. The original beams have been maintained throughout, even in the bathroom. And outside, there's enough room in the gardens for a tennis court. So with properties like that on the market, you can see why many people want to make Cheshire their home, including, of course, today's buyers. XC Captain Graham is soon to retire from his job as a marine coordinator and spend more time with Diane, his wife of 42 years. Born and bred in the Wirral, they spent all their lives living on the coast and are now planning to swap the sea breeze for fresh country air. I've been working abroad since 1964. Um, I was in the Merchant Navy till 1990, and since then I've continued working abroad. Well, once I move, I'm hoping to get to know Graham a bit better and live with him for a bit more. We haven't been together much in the 40 years we've been married, so mm. it'd be nice like starting again, I think, really. Yes. That's a bit of an adventure. 
They've lived here at their five-bedroom house on the Wirral coast for 10 years, and keen gardener Diane will be making sure there's room for her beloved plants and more when she moves. Basically, I'd like to move to the country. I'd like to move to the country, I'm not sure about you, but I'd like to move for more land, an acre or so of formal gardens, um, because I seem to have just run out of space here. Oh, and a conservatory. I'd like just one of those lovely conservatories, oh, those right, wooden yes, conservatories, you know, that yes. type. That's mm. And you still want to stream, really, don't you? Um, river in the garden would be very nice, but... You'd like to tie yes. a little boat up at the bottom, I think. No, you? thanks. No, I don't <laughs> want any more boats, thanks. <laughs> With a life on the ocean wave firmly in Graham's past, he's plotting his course for a move to East Cheshire. And despite having spent such a lot of time apart, the couple have the same aspirations when it comes to choosing a new house. We'd like a, a detached house with sort of four bedrooms, a couple of en-suites, a small office for you. So you yes, it'd be nice way. to have some office space. I'm not entirely... Uh, retired just yes. So. Maybe you can escape from me yeah. a little bit. We're not used to living together really, so a little escape room for you. Um, a couple of entertaining rooms. A large kitchen that we can eat in, perhaps sit in as well, maybe get a sofa in it. That would be my, that would be my shopping list. It's a big list, but luckily there's an equally big budget to spend. Budget for the next property is around a million pounds. Uh, there is a little bit of flexibility in that. I think the most important thing is uh, We've got to feel it's been a, a bargain, if you like. <laughs> but, uh, oh, a bargain, right? Yes, yeah, nice. it's, always, it's always nice to get a bargain. We're concentrating our search on the East Cheshire area, which boasts numerous stately homes and historic market towns such as Nutsford, Middlewich and Sandbatch. We've got three great properties for them to explore, but as usual, before I reveal the price, I'll be asking them to guess how much they're on the market for. And I'm hoping our mystery house could make our ex-mariner and his maiden cast aside any doubts of leaving the water behind. Well, Graham Dine, lovely to see you here in Cheshire. I mean, your neck of the woods, yes. very much so. But you're unusual in that most people coming on Escape to the Country want to move to the sea. <laughs> but you're going the other way. Yes, we've, we've had enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years and it's been enough. Now, in terms of what you're after, we've got a fantastic budget. You know, 1.1 million? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Or so. Yeah. Or so, oh, yes. Yeah. Or so. Yeah. Good. I mean, yeah. the or so is interesting <laughs> because you haven't got to sell to do this, have no, you? No, no. So if it were a little bit higher and it were the right thing, presumably... A we little, might be tempted. A little bit higher, not, not hugely higher. <laughs> yeah, OK. But we are trying to find you quite a property because, let's be clear, we're not downsizing here, are we? No, no, no. 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 We've got no. another big move in, as I think, before the Twilight Home. Really? Yeah. OK, so this is, this is another node on the way. Yes. Well, yes, and we've got three children that keep coming home as well, so... Uh... And they must be quite excited about the idea of you having somewhere a bit bigger with a bit more land. I think they think we're a bit crazy, actually. I think they think <laughs> the retirement home is where we should be, but we're not having that yet. Well, look, we've got three, I think, very viable properties right, for you to exciting. have a look at. Let's see what we can offer you. That sounds good. Great. Follow me. Thank you. With a very substantial top-end budget of £1.1 million or so, Graham and Diane are seeking a property with four bedrooms, two with an ensuite, a garden room or conservatory for Diane's plants, a big kitchen diner for socialising, an office with Graham, and an acre of garden, preferably with a stream. We're beginning our search in the village of Mir, just a few minutes' drive from the pretty market town of Nutsford, which was the blueprint for Elizabeth Gaskell's novel Cranford. Our first property is a detached brick farmhouse, which in part dates back to the 17th century. Property number one. Oh, yes. Very nice. nice. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, Cheshire brick, I think, or similar. Stream in the front car. Oh, right. Yes. Little stream, yes. Uh, yeah. Tip, tip, tuppy bridge. Yes. Yep. Yes. Rhododendron. Yep. Oh, great. Yes. Lovely front door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there are numerous doors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. We're not going to use that one. We're going to use one on the side right. uh, to get us in. And we'll see what you make of it. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So you can see it sort of goes on a bit. Right, well let's start in here. Oh wow. It's very, very light. Probably not what you'd expect. No. Uh, I'm outside, I didn't think it'd be this size. And then the whole thing has, well, relatively recently been pushed out 
that way right. to give you this huge kitchen area here. These are nice, though, I must say. Lovely units. I mean, lovely. and of course you've got that lovely oh, the range. Wow. And it's quite light with the skylight there as well, isn't it? Very what a nice, nice lived-in fit, homely place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm thinking of log burners and things like that. Oh, cozy, yeah. Cozy, cozy winter, yes. cozy winter night time. Yes. I can feel right. it coming on. It's great to see that they've both taken to this house so quickly. Let's see if they're as enraptured by the rest of it. So here we are into the oldest bit of the house, really, mm. I think. To your dining room. Right. Very, very nice. Lovely. Old beams. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. And can you just make out the carpenter's marks? You can. On the timber? Yes. Uh, again, really kind of giving a sense yeah. of its yep. age. Yes. Now, through that door over there, we've got your little snug, oh, right. which is quite sweet, with yeah. the multi-fuel burner in it as well. To my left here, an office right. with a nice door out to the garden. And then a separate staircase here, oh. which goes up oh. stairs, obviously. Uh, right. And another one there. So we've got two staircases. Right. One each. One each. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, you know, shipboard life. Oh, you know, <laughs> it comes to me claustrophobic. Happy moments. <laughs> right. yeah. but, um, but in terms of dining area, I mean... Perfectly big enough. Lovely and right. cosy. Lovely. Yes. OK, right then. Follow me through here. Let's have a look at another living room for you. Right. There we are. Oh. Cozy, yes, very oh, nice. Yeah? Wow, conservatory. Yeah, yeah, it's the conservatory, well spotted. We'll, well, we'll go yeah, in there in a moment. Funny. Right. Yeah. But this would be your principal living room, I would yep. suggest. Um, nice, you know, open fire in there. Right. It's smaller than we're used to, but that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's not a bad thing. It's no, the it's, it's, it's OK. And quite light, windows yeah. both ends. Yeah. yeah, yes. I mean, given that we've got the other little snug yes. through off the dining room yeah. as well, it gives you options. You know, if you want to do your own thing, or you've got friends around, yes. and then you keep this as a more yes, of an entertaining quite. space. Yes. Yeah. You know, drift through after dinner. Yes. Um, into yes. here, or good. or through. Come on. Into the conservatory. <laughs> yes, there's no holding Diane back from the conservatory. A room featuring very high on her list of demands. Lovely. Lo oh, look at the fireplace. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's more than the conservatory. Quite warm as well. Yeah. That is an electric fire. Yes. It would not be a work of great genius to put a flue in Quite. up there yeah. and create a wood Quite burner. But I think this is the one you'd be, we'd be in all the time. Yes, it's nice. It's Love nice. It. Opened up, I think that would make this room look bigger yep. and, and more open. Oh, yes, I, I can see it. Yep. The conservatory and its wow factor has really won Diane over, and maybe even Graham too. Upstairs, there's more charming character in the family bathroom. It adjoins the smallest of the five bedrooms, which could be used as a dressing room. But we're taking a look at the master bedroom. Now this kind of sets the scene, really. Oh, very grand. Yeah? Yes. Uh, ensuite in there, right. shower room. Right. And this is currently the master. Right. They are, they're all pretty generous. Wardrobes. Though, right? no, right. little, but then they use the other one as a dressing room. You've got the bottom as a bit of a dressing room. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, it's not short of space. That's the it's not. Key. No. Now this one, I think, is a little bit bigger, actually, oh, in a right. sense. Yes. The through there, we've got you a very nicely appointed Jack and Jill bathroom, right. which goes on to the final and fourth double, oh, right. Right. which is access through the other small oh, staircase. The second right. staircase, right? Yep. Right. Over towards the study. Yep. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Now then, last bit, the garden. Oh, good. Right. It Important is of bit. crucial importance, isn't it? it? Is. Yeah. It right. Is. Follow me. Let's see what we've got for you out here. The grounds are more generous than they asked for, with a stable block and a paddock, but I'm hoping that the lovely expanse of lawns might bring them round. So out of your, well, possibly new conservatory, done. Right. <laughs> into the garden, or a bit of it. I mean, all in, there's about three and a half acres or so. That wasn't quite on the shopping list, yours. It's a bit more, isn't it? A little. <laughs> well, we knew you'd go off piece slightly. I mean, one of the things with your budget, of course, is that you often get more than you bargained for. And land is, is one of those oh, things yeah. that, that does arrive, whether yeah. you like it or not. So, how much do you think it's on the market for? I, I would think about 950,000. 950? I'd say 925. 925? Mm -hmm. Crikey. A pair of... Optimists. Um, right. Yes, you are under, I'm afraid. Right, right. Um, this is on the market for 998. Right. We're just under the million. So we've sort of given you a taste of yes. what, what the market has to offer. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, okay. um, go okay. and explore that paddock area, which is just right, over there. Right. Go and explore that, right. and I'll catch up with you later. Right. right. Off you go. Okay. 
For a shade under a million pounds, this property more than meets all the demands of their wish list. It has five bedrooms, two with an ensuite, a spacious kitchen diner, a huge sunny conservatory for Diane's plants, space for Graham to work from home, and a stream of...